Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Just want to share quickly a few numbers as far as the incidence and prevalence of HIV in the United States, and then we'll look at it at the global scale as well. So here we see, first of all, remember, incidence is the number of people who get a disease during a time period. Prevalence is going to be the number that have it. So obviously the prevalence is going to be a lot higher because we're looking at people that already had the infection and people that get the infection every year, et cetera. So as far as U.S.-based numbers, um, you know, these are kind of rough estimates, but about 1 million Americans currently would have uh, HIV infection. And there's somewhere between 35 and 40,000 new infections a year. So those will be the numbers I want you to know in the United States. Globally, it's a much bigger problem. So just so you know, we've, uh, we have, we've turned the tide. We've, we've made a lot of progress. There's still some parts of the world that are in serious trouble because of this disease. But you have to understand that when I was in college, we, we, we thought these numbers were going to be way worse. So I would say currently between 35 and 40 million people are infected on the globe. Uh, the, sadly, as you can see here with these percentages, 70% of those people are in Sub-Saharan Africa. So there are parts of Sub-Saharan Africa where one in four, one in five people um, are going to be infected. So that's that's terrible and we, we need to do better. Um, the incidence as far as new cases be about a million, million a year. So you see the United States is a pretty small fraction of what's happening globally, and that's because 70% of these infections are in sub-Saharan Africa. So currently, um, HIV and AIDS have, have led to 40 million deaths. It's hard to say exactly how many because um, how do you classify deaths? You know, we didn't, Some countries don't keep as, as good of records as we do. But if somebody dies that has tuberculosis and AIDS, you know, uh, you know, how did they die? Right. That's what we have to kind of guess. Like one example would be we know that diarrheal diseases kill between 2 and 4 million people a year. But that's a, that's a huge range because you don't actually know where to classify people when they die. So but those are those are safe estimates. So I would say that about 40 million uh, humans have HIV right now, and about 40 million have died from it. So, like I said, thankfully, we've made a lot of progress. When I was in school, um, we would have guessed that these numbers would have been a lot higher, right? That uh, that maybe 8 million Americans would potentially have it by now, and, you know, maybe 100 million people would have died. So, the, you know, that's it's, it's, it's kind of good news. But here, so globally, this is an example of a, a people classify this as a pandemic because it is a worldwide epidemic. So it's a problem everywhere. But as you can see, that East and Southern Africa um, area is is definitely where it, where it is the biggest problem. Now, the bad news with that is it's also in an area where then having resources and the ab availability of drugs and, and, and the things we need to do to control the infections is difficult. So the problem is the worst in an area where it's where it's more difficult to help. So, all right, those are just some basic numbers as far as the incidence and prevalence of HIV, both in the United States and worldwide. So hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.